And here we are at the Arcadium cast, checking out some Binding of Isaac with the additional DLC, Wrath of the Lamb. Hello, my name is Tyler, and we're getting this party started early now. I don't know if any of you have played the Binding of Isaac. If not, you should. If not, you can watch me play it, but I will state immediately ahead of time, shit is fucked up. Now, normally, you would play as Isaac, the main character, and you unlock separate characters, such as Eve, Samson, and other fun-filled activities of people um, as you play through the game. Now, because Isaac... For, I don't really enjoy playing with Isaac after I unlock anybody else, I'm going to go with the stylist Judas. Now, you notice there is no heart here, which means he started with one red heart. Uh, a little bit of movement, but epic on the damage scale. He also has the item Book of Belial. We'll find out what that does here soon. Now, I am a bit rusty. Hopefully, that means I don't suck. Going through this, obviously, we have the menu screen up at the top. Very Zelda-esque. Also, the child with a fez hat on. That's a little bit funny. Um, move, ASDW, attack. You use tears to fight away things. Let's go find out what those things are. It's a chest. And there's poop near it. It's a good thing. I don't know why I acted like I could shoot the chest. It's been a long time since I played the game. Alright, bomb people. This isn't good. But, that could have went better. Wiggle worm. Now I have seizure face, and that's okay because then my tears do a little happy in whatever direction they're going. Going through this game, you see a lot of uh, see a lot of fucked up shit. Well, fate. Hmm. That could be good or bad. And right now I'm using my book of Belial to do extra damage. That's nice. Trying to get it to where he doesn't spawn anything, because these are terrible little bugs. Kind of a pain in the ass. Now, if I cannot get hit while fighting this boss with that white heart up there, boom shakalaka, ladies and gentlemen, I get an additional heart piece. Now, I just picked up a cube of meat that's going to surround me, envelop me, in what looks like square bacon. Let's go down to the second floor. I'm going to cry myself to sleep with what looks like a chest that I am hyperventilating in. That's a game over. Alright. Heart. I'm able to fly now, so I can fly over small traps. Um, and also, my tears don't go through any rocks, so I'm still hindered by a little bit of, not necessarily gravity, but some kind of weird foray into gravity. Blow that guy up, it's fine. Probably could have got this blue rock with the X on it, but that's fine. We don't need it. I mean, we might need it. I might curse myself later on for not getting it. Well, that fly should have been dead. That's fine, though. Alright. Well, shit. Now we're fighting. Right? Pretty easy. Pretty easy boss battle. I usually, some myself. That was very simple. Moving on. Right. I'm gonna try and scope out for another treasure room since we've got two keys, and after the first level, it requires you to have oh, more keys, right? On. It requires you to have a key to at least open up the treasure room. Right. These guys are dicks, and you get used to the enemies fairly quickly after you play through the game about 170 times. Start to learn moves now. You can see on the map here, let's move the mouse because obviously I was in the fucking way and I'm an idiot. Um, this room is surrounded by other rooms. I'm gonna take a bet here. Boom shakalaka! That's right, hidden room. What do I get? Coins. I get coins. Now, whenever a room is surrounded like that, you have two hidden rooms per level. So the first level that I was in had two hidden rooms, and this does too. Alright, I can eat too. That attracts items, sometimes that can be good. In the case if I didn't have wings and I couldn't fly over something. But this can also be awful, because now, um, if someone launches a bomb in front of me, I'm kinda hosed. Uh, we 
copies of the key on this shit. Don't really want any of it. Alright. Try and blow out those candles. Let's move on to Monstro. Uh, again, we're using some space action here. Try and get a perfect on these bosses. If you get perfects, I believe, don't quote me on this, but you might actually be able to get um, demon and angel drops. Oh, we moved. Demon and angel drops. Um, for the rooms, like, uh, after defeating the boss, kind of ipso facto treasure room. That's a word I've used before. Basement boy achieved! And we do have a demon room. Call that shit like Moses. Alright, let's see what's in here. I can sacrifice two hearts for either of those, and as you can see in my life counter, I only have two hearts. And you can also see that I am physically shaking because I now have googly eyes. That's scary. Pass up on the demon room since I didn't take any damage because of that achievement I got, basement boy. Didn't take any damage on either floor. I get that achievement. Caves won. What do I get? That's poop. And someone's laughing. That's just saying. Alright, moving on. Hitting up some enemies. These guys uh, drop into piles of meat that you just kind of have to punch when it's down. Oh, look, a key. Nailed it. Poor person. Now, normally I would hook this guy up with some cash if I were playing not Judas. Uh, because I just don't trust luck in this game. I think luck is out to fuck you. Um, unless you're at the casino with a lot of money and then uh, ride them high. And they do have casinos in this game because they understand a good game. These guys are split. Yep. It's one of those games where you... It's like the bullet hell where you just kind of have to know where to maneuver, you know, know enemies, their ranges, what they do as you pass them, including that poor ass kid who's asking for money. If you blow them up, you might get some items. I can't say for sure though. Alright, Envy, this is the worst one because it's so time consuming, not because it's difficult. I might actually take damage here just because I'm an idiot and impatient. Uh, what this guy does is his head splits different counts, and uh, this is going to take for fucking ever. If I wasn't doing a gameplay, I might actually just quit the round, or quit the game and then just start over because of my incredible impatience for this boss, or this mini boss, just because it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but it's over before it started, I guess, it's something people say. Taking any damage here, I'm very impressed with myself. So is that bomb that could have hit me. Ooh, pills. Now pills are randomized. Balls of steel, that's delightful. I got two extra soul hearts. Took a gamble and I came out ahead. Feels good. Did I even get the treasure room in the last? Yeah, I did. Got the got the magneto thing. Alright, never mind. Just really forgettable. Blood splatter. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of fucked up game. It's fine though. I love it. All right. Forever alone. I got an attack fly on the perimeter. Does some damage. Love it. I mean, I, I, I'm in love with him. I just love him. I love him so deep. I have played this game specifically, you'll actually see a little bit further into the game more so than you would, because I just wasted that key because I'm an idiot. I have to get this key and then this compass, which should, should, apparently I won't. Bomb spot. No luck there. First time's always the charm. Don't have the charm a second time. It's quite alright. Um, I am out of money. I'm going to fly to the boss room and start doing some shit. Um, I don't exactly know what death does. I always forget. You can always look those up. It's way more fun if you don't. And we're now fighting Gertie, who's kind of a son of a bitch. Power-ups. Getting some extra damage here. Uh, I didn't know if I had already stated that this Book of Belial just gives you more damage. 
on that thing. That's just a death card. Drains the boss of a little bit of health, it looks like. And noises on this game aren't really the stuff of Emmys either. Alright! I could go to the laundromat because I got some shoes! I don't know why you'd go to the laundromat for shoes, but hella awesome. Let's roll down to the caves number two. What am I thinking about? More hyperventilation. That... Not good. Not good. Alright, now on the map we have... The compass doing some work! Those guys suck. They blow shit up. No one wants that. Now in some rooms where you notice that the enemies are more explosive, uh, you can play the walls. Sometimes there are hidden walls in rooms like that. Can't guarantee it always, but sometimes it's just funny to try and get it. And when you do... Shit. Thought I was... Goose has got my back. I can already tell. Why am I smiling so creepily? It's fine. It's kind of strange. Now because I have four bombs, that is going to go away. And I'm going to get money for it. That's great. Come on, come on. You didn't drop anything because you're a son of a bitch. Hate them. Hate these things. They drop spiders. Spiders are a pain in the ass. Just follow you. Kick the shit out of those guys. What is this? Epicac? Is that Epicac? Do I really want to end the game this soon? Epicac throws, like the green guys we just saw, throws vomit and it explodes. Not a lot of lives, but it's fun. Now. I can check. Oh! Wow! That's strange. It actually curved. I've never seen that before. This is not a combination I've gotten. That's crazy. Alright. Epicac strange. Alright. That's what you get for getting some Epicac. I'll use it. Bring him the photo. How about you eat a dick? That's right. Give me the bombs. Give you the photo. Give you the business. That's what I just did. Alright, now I'm just gonna launch at everything. Alright, for that exact reason. Oh, I got a unicorn. Not really feeling it. But I do have Epicac. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but since I did pick up the Epicac anyway, my little unicorn gives me the ability to just run around and destroy all the shit. That was easy. Easy button. Cool. Since I'm already pretty boss currently, I'm just gonna try and speed run this now since I got the Epicac. Glad I got the fly. These guys are assholes without it. There we go. Didn't want to get hit. Damn it! Got hit! Wasted a perfectly good perfect run. And if I would have beat this one, I would have got another achievement. Fish. Spiders everywhere. It's all crazy. It's all spiders. All right, kill them spiders one at a time. All right, stem cells. Look at my face. That's weird. That other baby that's stem cells has an eye. It's my eye, but it's weird. All right, depth number one. At the chest again. His eyes are creepy. We got brains. Don't really have to worry about the brain splatter because I'm flying. Normally one would. 
I like this distance I can make. Kind of a pain, but can't do the fade away all the time. All right. Question authority. I got your authority. Sorry, right, give me more bumps. In fact, too lazy to go through that. Shit. Turrets. I hate turrets. Wicked. Damn it. Don't have a key. Should have looked at that. Ugh. Jesus! Maybe Epicac wasn't the best idea. Probably say it once, so I'll probably say it again. Ow! God damn it! I'm losing all of my street cred that I have earned in this particular casting. Oh, I got coins. It's nice. Too bad it's not a fucking key. Got dudes with creepy heads that hit me. Some damage. I cannot hit them. Alright, that was almost not worth it. Justice! Summon the justice! I have a key. Let's see what's in that area. Actually, I haven't been hitting anything. Okay. Making sure there's no secrets. I mean, that's, that's one thing you gotta check, kids. You gotta check for no secret shit. I want you, don't want anybody fooling around. Anarchist cookbook, kind of the worst item. Not necessarily, it's a, it's a nice, nice intro item. Spawns bombs everywhere. But, we're just gonna fly over all this shit, speed run it. Hopefully I don't get railed too hard before I get to another boss fight. And that's flames. Those hurt when you're on them. Okay, another key. It's one. Poop monsters. Actually, they're fly people. But they're around poop. It almost counts. War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Jesus. He runs, he runs, he runs! Not good. Damn it! You know what? Fuck you. Taste the fly. That's right. I'm that guy. I don't need to take this. You work for me now, bitch. Yeah, yeah. All right, cube of meat. Now I've got the meat boy face. Unfortunately, it's relevant because I have Epicac. Depths to what's in the package. It's a wig, and I get made fun of. That is not pro LGBT shit. But because the game is fucked up to begin with, this game does not support a lot. It does not support a lot of things. That is sad. It's just sad. So sad. All right. Getting a lot of shit here. Perhaps I should go make some money. There's a heart. Child's heart. I don't remember what this does. That is pinky eye. Gives me poison shots sometimes. My reflection. Jesus! <laughs> What is this doing? Oh God. Oh God. Oh, this is bad. I don't think I can do any damage to anything, really. Ah, this is weird. It goes so high. Look at that angle. And it just stays there. Ooh. This could be a quick run now. Jesus. Oh God. Really? 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 And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Binding of Isaac. You have just watched... God, shitty, shitty run, but really strange. There's apparently farting in the background. Just constant farts. 
But you have been watching the Arcadium Cast. I'm Tyler. You can check me out on YouTube. Subscribe, like, send me a comment. Give me some love. I'll rub my nipples while you do it. I promise. I promise I'll do it. I'll even read them in my own voice. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Arcade Professor or at my podcast, The Arcadium Podcast, found at ecmmogamers.com. That again is ecmmogamers.com. I'm Tyler. I died. Fuck this game. Replay? Hell no. Back to main menu. That's right. We're out.